today in this video we are going to test the function of oil mist detector of four stroke diesel generator the brand that we have here is Vistron and this is the measuring head for the generator so before testing we have to make sure that the system is ready to use the generator here is MAN XTX with the bore of 32 and uh, we will use both the method smoke and uh, the template provided by the manufacturer so these are the measuring heads for the generator called as siphon blocks also so from here the samples are taken from each unit and then sent to the measuring head where uh, the optical sensor senses if there is a smoke and then shuts down the generator it's like a safety system for the generator so before to testing the generator we have to put it in local so let's go those who are not little bit aware about oil mist detector it's like a safety system for generators so if there is a heat spot and there is a smoke develop in the crankcase then it will automatically stop the generator preventing it from further damage so now the generator is in local now we can test the function of OMD sensor but before that we have to check the two ways for testing the generator and here we will see it so there are two ways to test the OMD sensor one is the smoke uh, detector uh, which we use in ship for testing the smoke detector allows or the other one the template which is provided by the company this has a lens which uh, has a certain optical uh, what you call it will permit that much amount of light only so today we are going to use this one it has all the instruction mentioned as how to use this one so let's uh, go and uh, we will check by this one to install this uh, template we have to open the cover for the OMD sensor this needs to be done when the generator is stopped so first we put in local and then we install this template when you will open the cover you will see that now there's already an alarm these are the two filters for the OMD sensor so now the cover we already installed and you can see the green light we have to wait for the green light to come then we can start the generator and then test the function of this uh, OMD sensor so let's go and we will start the generator on local to t test the shutdown function if there are two people then it will be little bit less time consuming job The reason we are putting the generator on local so that it is not on auto and it doesn't connect to the board. Right now you are seeing the RPM of the generator. So after making sure that the generator is stable and uh, all ok then we can go to the OMD sensor to initiate the alarm. So now we have to insert the 
this optical disc that was provided with this template which has certain optical what you call uh, it has some optical uh, like it will it will mimic the smoke so this we have to insert inside and then as you can see the sensor detects that now there is a hindrance in the light flow so then it will trip the generator as you can hear the alarm now we can take it out and wait for the system to stabilize then you can remove this and then put back the cover because we have to test the generator one more time after testing this alarm so that the we are sure that the generator is back to normal okay so now the cover is back now we just have to wait for the system to go back to the normal so as you can see the light red light is now at the bottom we just need to wait for the ready ready light to glow up so now as you can see that the green light is on that means system is back to normal but we still have to reset the alarms on the generator uh, operating panel so let's go this alarm is active the emergency stop now this is reset now we will put it on local and then start Let's check around the generator if everything is okay, so that we can it put back this to remote again. This is a eight-cylinder diesel generator. 